so did you know that in Godot it's really easy to peek inside an instance scene in the editor without having to break the link to the original scene? To do this, the trick is to use the editable children option. Let's say that you have a scene like this one that defines a full enemy setup. Maybe it has a sprite, some logic, a collision shape, a health bar, and so on. And now what you want to do is reuse that prefab scene as an instance inside another scene, like your first level, for example. Okay, but what if in this level scene, you want to tweak some small detail, like coloring the sprite or repositioning the health bar just for this instance, and also without affecting the original enemy prefab scene? Well, if you go to the scene hierarchy and you right-click on your instance, you can toggle on its editable children option to get access to the child nodes of this prefab instance and modify them on the fly easily in the viewport or in the inspector. And all of this won't actually change anything in the prefab scene itself that this instance is coming from, meaning that your other instances will remain the same. But the other great thing is that using this option keeps the link between the modify instance and its original prefab scene. So if you update something else in the reference prefab, every instance, including the modified one, will instantly reflect the new change. Oh, and by the way, a little tip, if you want to reset back your instance to the original setup later, just select your modified node, use the little undo arrow next to the change properties in the inspector, and finally, right-click the instance again to toggle off its editable children option. And well, that's it! Now you know how to do variations of a base prefab quickly, like different enemy colors or slightly tweaked UI elements, all the while keeping your scenes clean and reusable. I really hope you liked this quick tip, don't hesitate to react in the comments and subscribe to the channel to get more videos, and of course a huge thanks to my Patreon members for the support, and to you for watching. And as always, take care!